Yeah. And are you all good to us? We're all fine and fit over our classes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the keep fit. And the keep fit. Right. And the communication. Oh, yes. Um, right. 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 It's the best one in the lab. That really right. helped us out together. Yeah. 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 It's great, like, if you let kind of yeah. It's a marvellous thing, that to know, to bring it, to mm. bring it out and stuff. Right. Right. We've made great friends, haven't we? Yeah. 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 We broke down with the reality of the last. Mm. Like, well, probably it's a terrible mistake. It would be terrible, yeah. 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 Especially our trips. So we change well, I never went to Monday, well, so I hope have. it doesn't stop before I get <laughs> <laughs> Just to begin with the last, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was great for you to enjoy that. Bring a carry now, we're going to do. Oh, what's that? That's in the ring. Yes. Bring a carry. I know, the last party we had was a uh, <coughs> roaring and stuff. So yes, yes, yes. Our yeah. women's night out. And I hope there are many watching this just to show them that you don't need alcohol <laughs> to enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any alcohol. I know men was allowed on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We don't need many in your team. And for the small amount of money, it was like a miracle of the local We got very good value, we did. You were near, John, that's your word. I was in there, I missed that. I do. Great. I'm Anne Higgins. And you're very welcome to Cleely Community Project. This project is very different, it's special, and most importantly, it is the efforts of many women working together to make things happen in the community. Decisions are made together. We have good times and we have bad times. Now, for two years, women have sang and danced together, we've had fun together, we have laughed together and sometimes cried together, and we have worked very hard together to make this project a success. Activities are divided into two groups, um, adult activities and child activities. All the activities take place in St. Lelia's National School in Kalili in Limerick, where I went to school myself as a child and where I later taught uh, for five and a half years. I'd like to thank Claire Finn, the principal of the school, and Kenan Manning, the manager of the school, for being very helpful and very supportive. This video has been made by the communications group who have been meeting for a few months every Wednesday morning. This video is being scripted, it has been filmed and being produced by the women involved in the project. It is made to show what can be done in a community when people work together cooperatively.
I'll never just ask them. Yeah, they're very bad now. I'll never just bad in my whole life. I want to do it again, Brisa. Yeah. They have to do it again now, Brenda. Um, this is Mrs O'Donnell and Mr Higgins. They are two of the oldest residents in Cleely and I'm sure they have some very interesting memories to share with us. Mrs O'Donnell, um, you were caretaker of this school for how many years? 23. And you're still there? Still there. Can you give us some old <laughs> Um Have you any interesting memories that you could tell us about the school? Oh, I have a lot, a lot of good to do about the school. They were lovely to work with and beautiful teachers there. And above all, and is very good. She's the best. <laughs> I'm sure you saw um, uh, many few generations of children going through oh, the school. I did. I did. I think I saw three generations of different children. They meet me in the street now, I don't know, they're men, married men and married women. And they stop up and tell me about the bone and milk I used to give me years ago. That's how I recognise them. And in your opinion now, has the school changed very much? It has. We dropped a lot in the pupils and teachers. But it's changed an awful lot. It was hard when I went there first. There's hundreds of children there. They're not that to date. It's nice and quiet. Were you always living in Cleely? I was. I'm 44 years here. I came from Clancy Strand. I always at this side of Limerick, I did. And how did you find the people of Cleely when you came here first? Very nice people, homely, very honest and quiet people. We pulled there always. We never had any trouble with anyone. Um, I suppose you'd never consider retiring now? Oh, not for the next 25 years, I hope. <laughs> And all done. <laughs> um, and I believe you were in the Battle of the Sams. All through the Sam. Yes. All through the Sam. And you have um, a few medals of bravery. I have uh, a military medal, 1914 star, general service, victory medal, and also mentioned and Sir Douglas Hayes of Patches. Great man, isn't it? Great man, yeah. I think he's the only one now. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. tell them how many bullet wounds you have. I have uh, one, two, two, three. Three bullet wounds, well. And the one behind. One behind. And take no notice. And, ta and take no notice. And <laughs> never broke a bone. No. Never broke there a bone in his now. body. No. They never affected you. Men the men of both. How many brothers and sisters were in your family? Huh? How many brothers and sisters were in uh, your family? John, Joe, Paddy, Martin, and Jim. Four brothers. I had four or five sisters. And did they all move into Cleely at the same time? Well, the most of them. And they're all gone. They're all gone. Mr. O'Donnell, how many brothers and sisters were in your family? Six boys, but no sisters. I mean, the man and only sister. <laughs> and my mother was the only sister. And my grandmother was the only sister. <laughs> and that's gone back. <laughs> if you had a choice now, would you move anywhere else? Live. No, no. I won't move no until I move for the good. Um, could you tell me some of the good things about living in Cleely? They're very good people anyway. Very good people and friendly people. Very friendly. And you, Mr. O'Donnell? I'm quite happy here, always. It's the time I came up to very the present good. day. I wouldn't leave now for no man. Well, that's a nice thing to hear anyway. <laughs> Well, um, thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure. But I find coming here now is great for me because I've so much to go. Yeah, it, you know? it relieves the tension yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. What I say from Grace at the no. start, too. You have a little laugh and you yeah. forget your yeah. trouble. Yeah. You, you don't face anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah.
See, I suppose it's not easy for them either, then, truth, isn't it, you know? Especially if they walked at some time or other. Mm. It's different if they never walked, I suppose, mm. they'd get into mm. that kind of a thing. But when they were used to walking, uh, they find it very hard to put down Do. the time. They say the unemployment rate has gone down, but it's not really I because the only really reason it is, if it is gone down is because half the people are leaving the country, half the youth are going. They're gone away. More than half are yeah, gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason it's gone down. Well, that's my one fellow now wants to jump in my grass. Well, Brady, I'm telling you, oh. it's the only place where they yes. have any kind of a chance anyway. Yeah, I can see my girl. Yeah. If I had the money, I'd be gone too. Because once my brother is gone now, they'll go, I'd say, yeah. as well, yeah. you know. I'll tell you something, if I was definitely all over again, I'd be gone years ago. I would never have stayed. Years ago. But you need money then to go? Oh, true. It really is as simple as this. You need money for everything now. Yeah, I do. To tell you the best things in life for free, I wish they'd show it to me. If I only go up to my sister's on a Saturday and the boss cost me two fifty. Of course it's all right. I've been up with her in about three months. That's a luxury now. Could you have to pay 26 pence for each child to go on the bus? And it's 52 for yourself, yeah. And then if it's up in South Wales, you have to get two buses. Yeah, it's up in South That's what I mean. You have to get two buses and two buses. You can't even take the kids now, you know? Sure, it's the same if somebody's only in hospital, sure, you have to get... Two buses That's out right, of the region yeah. and two buses back. I said, my father was in hospital for two months and I think I went out twice to visit him. And it broke my heart now. But I just had not away with that. I've gone out to the region. I'll be out now on the way back. Do you know? It's not easy, I'm telling you. Was not of work now, no? Does he ever see anything? Two of them crouch was gone. You see, if you could only see something in the future, it would yeah, get your hopes up. But when you see nothing at all, it's a bit of effort. I said my cup to see yourself. This is how it went, but I think DSB is a real worry all together. Yeah, yeah. I've mind to pay this week, and I heard someone saying I'm looking for DSP men last week. My heart nearly stopped, but I was reading the meters again. To my allowance now, and um, Lily pays my bill, all right. Mm. But yes, I could do with that allowance. Yeah, you yeah. seem pretty terrible doing that, was it? Because you feel you should be spending yeah. it on the kids when you're getting it from the kids. You can, you can. And it's the only the time that you get a bit of money not, like yeah, that, aside yeah. from mm. your into your hand, that you could it's do something. It's the only time. Yeah. But you, you can't do without There's always something waiting for it. Yeah, we know it's just a week for the allowance. The light bill comes in the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before the allowance, the light bill in the door. Tell you out of it. You know, there's something to be really paid out of it, and next time you look, it's all gone. You left, of course, and it now she comes up. Could you announce it? Miss <laughs> Danny could have gone and said she wants to be in the morning. And even firing is very hard to get to. We've got mm -hmm. nearly a whole year of it now, didn't we? Yeah. Find a call and find a call. You didn't know. look like you were still buying it. You still need a fire. Another one would need to need some fuel vultures. And there, there is people there who could do with them. She doesn't have worry about being failed. They don't care. Never I'm sure Chad's eye is waiting for a fuel voucher to put a fire in his I house. Know, yeah. it's a nice mm -hmm. it wouldn't be a great help if we did get a fuel voucher. Say no. I'd look up to see Charles Tahi you now, one of them living, and what we're living, living in. Yeah. It would last a week. It would last a week. It wouldn't last. Well, some, some politician in England tried it, didn't it? That's right, he did. Two weeks, I think he lasted, wasn't it? We're living in Paris. Wasn't it two weeks? That's right, I read about that. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. But it wasn't unemployment benefit, it was a pension, wasn't it? What the pension yeah. is, okay? Oh, She's still getting far less. Yeah, and, and uh, I suppose the fuel vouchers are stopped for them as well. Yeah. Oh, they all stop in April. When you get an old, I mean, you, don't, you feel yeah. the cold more, even in the summer, I'd say, you'd need a fire, yeah. wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. No, there's no answer to it, is there? There isn't. No. He's, uh, there, he's supposed to... Um, um, clear. Well, there's supposed to be a lot of uh, uh, employment there in a couple of years. I can't see it. It'll be a long, long time before it is comes. But you test the politicians. They're telling you that when, every time an election is due, they're, they're going mm -hmm. to walk miracles. Mm -hmm. Fianna we were kicking up murder about the head cutbacks before they went in. And look at it now. They made it ten times but worse. They say only they say? Over, why? That's why they, these head cutbacks, um, they're supposed to bring the country on its feet. You know, within a couple of years. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, it's going to take a lot longer than a couple of years for it to come out. Yeah, it's going to get done by the next day. It'll probably be old and grey and tired of it. It's dead and gone. Well, I hope, I'd be really and truly hoping at least when my kids leave school. Be I hope so too, when mine leaves school, there'll be something there for them. But you're even losing heart, I mean, you, you yeah, get kids now yeah. coming up to you and they're entering, they're leaving, and they're saying, 
Sure, it makes no difference mm -hmm. because we're yeah. not going to get a job anyway. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. If you have to have a leave now to eat a factory. You have, and I mean, yeah. anybody could work in a factory. I mean, yeah, whereas so years ago we could work in a factory. But listen, they, they nearly expect you to have, have seven honours now for the age. You pull a lever. It's ridiculous. And and then if they want to really want something very badly, they can't go for it because there's no openings for them. No. I mean, it, girls know you if they go into the nursing leg and an awful lot of them want to do it. But sure, that's gone as well. But sure, my second little one now was what wants to be a nurse. It's all through the years going up, she, she, and she even had it on her mind. But now, what she can't get a now, she, You can't even get them trained now. <coughs> I mean, at least even when you could be trained, they could go anywhere in the world yeah. like, because nurses mm -hmm. are needed everywhere. But sure, now when they're training, they only train want to pay him like any nurse, like, um, what you call it, face down there. And go, go. The only ones right, like that yeah. now while they're training. That started already, sure, isn't it? They're only getting fifty pounds. Yeah, but, this, yeah, but they've gone back now to the. My my mother could tell me years ago that a nurse had to pay to become a nurse. Yeah. Mm. You know, she had to pay. So that means it's back now. To the working class people can forget about all these kind of jobs yes, all over again mm -hmm. now. Again, yeah. And yeah. for a long time, there, well, it might have been open, but I mean, they could be teachers and all, but eventually now you'll find it. We're back to the same system that was there the, before. The upper class are going to be in I imagine jobs. years ago when you were unemployed, everyone was kind of the same. It was, it was easier, I think, years and years mm. ago. I, I, don't know. I, suppose, I don't know, Risa. I suppose looking back, you might think that.
gosh, I have been. It's fantastic. Marvellous. And what kind of classes did you enjoy most? Well, um, but I, I the upholstery and it's actually great. You know, I covered four stools, painted them first, and then I covered them with the leather. So it was great. I was, I was thrilled with myself now, really clapping myself in the back. <laughs> when, I, when I finished them, I, I, and I, I did a chair and I did a stool. And um, then the yoga classes, they were fabulous, like very relaxing mm. altogether, you know. But, and great fun into the bargain as well. And, Marvellous just getting away from the kitchen sink. Marvellous. <laughs> yeah, no, you, Bernie? <coughs> Bernie, you've been involved in the classes from the very start. Yes, I have. I think it's very, very good and very, very good for parents. Moreover, parents with very young children give them a break during the evening and we really enjoy it and we'd have great laugh. And we really made a lot of stuff. A lot of the women done, I done four jumpers. And I copied a pattern, open work pattern that I had never done before. And a lot of the ladies really enjoyed it. And we said it was great, very, very good. I enjoy a lot of the class because I've done the cookery and the yoga to keep fit and the hairdressing. That's very good as well. So I really enjoyed them all. I think it's very, very good. Don't forget your patchwork quick for down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Vern, that's a close to talk about now. No, I'd just like to say that um, it was a great opportunity just to come and see what all the ladies did <coughs> and uh, that you're doing great work here and it's a great advantage to the area and it's very nice to see somebody doing something like Anne and I think she's very good and I think she deserves a round of applause. Well, I've made four quilt covers in the sewing class and pillow slips to match and do great, fantastic all together. It's great. Oh, we're losing our sewing teacher. We'll have to get somebody else now. We'll all miss her. <coughs> yes, go on, Mama. I'm sorry for talking to Sarah. I say it, except that we all enjoy ourselves. Um, it's a great opportunity to have all your neighbours in a social gathering that you, you get to know people a lot better that way than just by saluting them on the street. And um, we all enjoy it. I mean, we look forward to the next one every time there's one. We hope that the next one won't be too long more. We were very fortunate. We were stuck, very stuck for a knitting teacher. We had one, and she left to get a job in another part of, of Ireland. And we were very lucky to have a local woman, any shinners, to t step in and take over the knitting class and to run a very successful knitting class. And maybe any of you might say a few words about it. Well, all I can say is I stepped in in place of a teacher. I'm not a teacher, I'm just... When I stepped into the knitting class when the last teacher left, and I'm delighted to be in it, and we get a great attendance every week, and there's people coming to the knitting classes now that has never knit before in their lives, didn't even know how to hold a pair of needles in their hands, including my friend next to me here. <laughs> besides that and have a chat and some nice times and we hope that we're going to have a continuation of it in September, please God. And um, I've had great pleasure in having Mrs O'Shea involved in the project. I came to school here myself and she was my first teacher and we're still working together which is a great sign at the time. So, Mrs O'Shea might tell us a little bit about, she is involved in the adult literacy class on Tuesday mornings and she might just tell us a little bit. When Anne started this project, I was very, very interested. Of course, I didn't offer my services or anything like that. But one of the women came to me and she asked would I be interested in 
helping along with the reading for adults. So at that time now, I thought of it having a reading group, just having a reading group. But it turned out that uh, I discovered that there was a lot of help needed before we could attain the actual reading of, like, enjoying reading in a group. So we started off from basics, started off with spellings and reading and writing and the lot. And now we have arrived at the state where the girls are able to put a letter together. A simple letter to a friend in England, for instance, where a number have relatives. And I have found the students most cooperative. They have been marvellous workers and they have done their homework really well. And I felt like if they had done it years and years ago, <laughs> they'd be all up in the doil or something like that, you know. <laughs> Were you working in school here now in St. for long? Um, 38 years. Oh, my God. I had four-year-old children for 38 years years. Uh, so I put a few generations through my hands and it was only when I go uh, out for a walk on Sunday afternoon and I meet so many past pupils who play rugby or play games. And of course I had a great thrill last weekend to find a past pupil, Father Freddie Waters, to meet him after his first mass. So I walked along. Yeah, and I was very, always very interested in the community here because they were very, very good to me. And I really loved working with them and amongst them down the years. And I don't think I ever had one cross word with a parent or a child while in the school. I always found them most anxious to please in every way. And the same follows for my group of adult readers now and I'm looking forward to I gave them homework for the holidays they got, <laughs> they got so much work to do for each week that they're on holidays until we resume with new energy please God in September <laughs> everybody likes to be able to do, especially their own hair. So of course when we got Dolores to do the hairdressing classes, and I can tell you we were all thrilled, especially me. And um, she's very good, like she stopped us turning the roots out of each other, you know, showed us how to, to uh, blow dry the hair properly, and even cutting. I've cut my own little boy's hair, and I've cut my friend's hair, and she's still in one piece, so she's still pretty pleased with it, you know. So we haven't made any enormous gaps in anyone, mainly due to Dolores keeping an eye on us all, like, you know. And she's very good, and we really do appreciate her coming out every Wednesday and giving up her time. And uh, everybody goes home happy, I think, especially the ones who've had their hair done. <laughs>
I write you. He's not now him. And Joseph. And your partner, Stephen. What about Carolyn? 